Hey, this is going to be a very short video about gluing PLA using the 3D Gloop for PLA. Originally saw the video on uh, Joel's channel, 3D Printing Nerd, and I uh, went to the website and they were, had a place we could order a free sample to try, which I ordered, and it came. I've glued a lot of things. For example, uh, this is a robot arm. It's uh, two pieces. Well, let's just glue them together right now so you can see. The uh, instructions on the website say to apply this to both pieces. And it doesn't, uh, don't really need to have it absolutely everywhere on the part in this case. Since it's not really a structural part, it's not holding the weight of anything. It's just an arm on a robot project that you'll be seeing on my channel shortly that and then press the two parts together get them lined up because you only have a couple of seconds there we go then that tells you to go ahead and clamp them which I'll do so we can talk um, the main difference between this stuff and glue super glue rubber cements goop which is a similar sounding product but you can buy in all the stores they all just bond to the imperfections in the surface. They don't actually melt the two parts together. This stuff tend, seems to actually make the PLA sticky and bonds the two parts together. It's really quite amazing. Now it has a very strong odor because of the MEK, the methyl ethyl ketone solvent that they use. That's why I'm filming this whole video on top of uh, the kitchen stove because we have a vent fan and it's sucking all the fumes out. I don't smell anything. This is, this is great this way. Without it, I wouldn't suggest you even do it in the house. If you have a vent fan in your bathroom, go do it in the bathroom. Um, these two pieces here are ones that I had glooped just before I started the camera rolling. And those babies, this plastic, this is all PLA, would definitely crack before they would ever let loose. They're, they're bonded to it. They're one. And there's the one we just put on. It's it's one, which means this arm that we just glued is uh, going to be one too. So it really is quite amazing stuff. Um, normally, I hadn't found anything that would actually melt or eat into PLA. Of course, I hadn't tried uh, MEK, which is you would commonly find in things like paint stripper. I don't know, maybe someone out there should try uh, buying a can of paint stripper and see if you can glue PLA together with it. Could be an interesting test. But anyway, these guys have already done it. It already works. You can get it bottled. If they're still giving samples, you can get a sample. It goes a long, long ways. I've only, I'm only down to the three-quarter mark here, and I have glued tons of parts with it already. And it uh, really works well. They're also claiming on the website that you can use it as a uh, bed adhesion like on your glass bed, and uh, you might even be able to get away with non-heating your glass bed and still have things stick well, they're kind of saying. They're also saying they're coming out with it in an aerosol form, so you don't have to brush it on. You could spray your parts, which would be kind of neat. They talk about a, a small drip pen, too, a syringe type thing. I didn't see that being for sale. I only saw cans of the stuff on their website, but. I'm sure if you email them, ask them about it, they can tell you what that's all about. Um, what else? They do talk about using it for smoothing your parts, your PLA parts, but they're suggesting that you use the uh, the spray, the aerosol version for that, which, if I'm reading their website right, isn't really available yet. But once it is, I definitely want to test that out because I'm always looking for ways of smoothing uh, PLA. Um, I've used the poly smooth filaments in the past, you know, which smooth uh, alcohol film, uh, alcohol, and that, that works well. And I actually ended up making my own gloop for that, for their uh, poly smooth, just by melting chunks of old failed poly smooth prints into alcohol and making a little gloop bath, which I then brush on the parts, and it does the same thing. It literally melts the two parts together; they become one. The the glued bond is stronger than the rest of the printed part. But um, this stuff uh, really works well. Their claims are right. I highly uh, recommend if you're gluing uh, PLA, 
give it a try, especially if you can still get the free sample, give it a try. I haven't been uh, paid to say anything. I, I did receive this free sample, but anybody could have and maybe still can, I don't know. Definitely worth checking out, though. It, I guess I was, what I was going to say is if, if you can't still get the free sample, get together with some other 3D printing friends because the, the cans of it are kind of expensive and there'll be a ton of it in the can. I mean, this, this is like a half an ounce or something. This is going to last a long time. So if you bought one can of it, you guys could, if you had a five or six or more of you or a, or a classroom, you could divide it up into little bottles and you'd all have your own and make it very cost effective. But anyway, it was just a heads up, and thanks, Joel, for posting your uh, initial tests on it, or I wouldn't have even known about it, and it uh, seems to work great.